Okay, so today, as, as an example, I've mapped out Town Lake in Austin, Texas, paths and some areas for top water, for example, uh, you see in there, other paths, some waypoints, and then I'm going to be demonstrating the chip that comes out of this, um, this mapping so that you can um, see what happens when you import it into your Lawrence and Hummingbird fish finders. So using a, an adapter similar to this one, you insert it into your USB drive on your computer. And once you do that, it will pop up a screen. So once you know that you have that incorrectly, uh, open up Hummingbird PC. You can download this for free off of hummingbird.com for your uh, fish finder. So when you open it up, it's going to show a drive and then your computer. First thing you need to do is open that file. So just go to File, Open, and go to that location, that F drive where you, that you just inserted. There's the file. There's a GPX file that was sent um, you received. In this case, Town Lake was the name of that file. Open it, and you'll see it shows up right here. T that GPX file shows up. Click on this top level, this, this file again, and all you have to do is go to the F drive and hit the green arrow, which uh, converts all that information, puts it into Hummingbird language, and puts it back into this drive. So just click this button and add to it. Just upload by adding. Click add, and in a few seconds, you're done. Upload is successful. The next scene will be at the boat on the GPS fish finder. Here we are, the machine. Uh, this is an older model 698 CI HD. You can either use the micro or you have this adapter. In this case, it needs the adapter and put this in. So immediately when you put it in, it tells you upload nav data from SD card. Just say yes. And there it is. It's done. Let's check it out. As you remember, we created some uh, areas. Uh, it's light here. But, uh, we did some polygons, did some paths. So you see this path here. Did some uh, waypoints. And it all imported correctly. Thank you very much.